Hey folks, this is Kyle Keel with a new training video for you, and I'm going to show you some footage from a pause bench press session I did today. You're going to see me do 205 for a set of 9, uh, 235 for a new PR set of 13, 235 for 9 with stricter pauses, and then uh, do a little bit of normal grip work at the end, in which I move my hands in just a little bit for my competition grip. Um, bench press felt great today, even 205, I knew moving 205, I... I knew that it was moving really fast, even though it's a pretty lightweight for me. Uh, I just uh, I felt like I was able to move it real fast, so I knew today would be would be don't going real well, and uh, it actually ended up going really well. And a um, few reasons why I think my my bench press has seen a, a real resurgence over the last few weeks. If you remember, just three or four weeks ago, I was really uh, really struggling very badly on the bench. And uh, my numbers had dropped a lot, and I just I felt kind of burnt out, and I was dealing with a lot of achiness. And uh, I've done a few things since then. Um, number one, I cut the volume down by about a third. Uh, to compensate for that, I actually increased the RPEs. So I'm doing about a third uh, fewer sets per week, but uh, the RPEs for those individual sets have actually gone up a lot. And I'm I'm doing a lot of rep maxes, and even for my supplemental or my supplemental uh, volume work. The, uh, the RPEs are a lot higher. The 235 for 9 that I did was was fairly difficult. Um, so I think that's really helped. It's helped me start to recover. Uh, I've also been doing a lot of trigger point therapy with the uh, um, um, extensors on my forearm extensors on my on my right hand, and uh, I've been able to get this this point in my bicep that hurts. Uh, it's almost like a chronic overuse thing. It hurts when I bench press, and uh, it's been a, an issue for me for a long, long time. A good three or four years. Whenever I just I train heavy and train hard for a period of time, it starts to flare up, and I have to bring things down. And so I've been doing uh, just uh, trigger point release therapy with this, um, applying constant pressure for a couple minutes, a few times a day, and uh, and letting it sit. And uh, that actually that spot has gotten a lot less sensitive, and uh, I I feel so much better lowering weights now. And you can see it here. I just uh, I'm in much better command of the weight. And I'm able to reverse it much faster than even just a few weeks ago. So that's really helped. And uh, overall, I just feel like I'm in a good place with my training and I'm in a good place with my bench press now. I'm only benching twice a week instead of three times a week. And that decrease in frequency has just helped me recover more. And uh, I'm really just enjoying bench pressing and enjoying making progress again. I hit a very small PR, a one rep PR with 235, which I was really happy about because I haven't hit a rep PR on bench press in a while, so it just shows that I'm back on track now, and my bench press is moving in the right direction, which I'm really happy about. Um, I did enjoy doing the uh, the rep max today. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, that's just a way in which I really like to train. I, I don't mind going in and logging the reps, but honestly, I just perform better when I go in and I have a rep max to shoot for. It's something that I like doing. It's something that motivates me and, and drives me when I get to sit and think about a number a day in advance before I have to do it. I just feel that much more motivated when I go in and uh, I have to perform and it always elevates my performance. I'm not somebody who shrinks from it. Uh, I always seem to press faster or squat faster or pull faster when I have a rep max at stake. And so it ele elevates my performance and it elevates my training. And that's how I like to train and so I'm really just enjoying my training right now. Anyway, keep checking in. More videos for you very soon.